613, let's get over to Jed Castles for the Out the Door forecast. Hey, Jed. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. It should be a nice day today here in Oklahoma City. It should be dry as we head out the door this morning and heading home. Really, for the most part, looks pretty good, too. 75 here this morning. It's a warm, kind of hazy start this morning. Hot afternoon. Up near 90. 89 is a typical average high this time of the year. So pretty close to what we should be seeing here in OKC. Now, as we go toward late today in the evening, some storms possible there. We'll talk more about that here coming up in just a little bit. Had a few storms come in about lunchtime yesterday and it really stalled things out. So with the heat index not quite as high as the day before where we were up in the 100s, but you can see there right around 90. So it was a hot day yesterday. Really humid was the story. Things pretty quiet after the storms exited yesterday afternoon. But boy, the big story is all the severe weather from Denver all the way down through Amarillo, large hail along that path, and then further south, get down to the south there, Matador. We've been talking about that right there. That's one of the tornadoes that happened from yesterday. Also, severe winds from Dallas down to Houston occurring in those areas. Here's the Matador area. Got the tip of the pointer here right there near Matador. That's about 100 miles away from Altus. And you can see the shear tracks on this moving down right along that path. And that came through. Trackers were on it. We had Val and Amy, Brandon and Sammy, and then uh, Jeremy also on that as these storms moved right through the town of Matador, doing extensive damage and creating uh, multiple fatalities as that storm moved in. We'll show you the video on that here coming up in just a moment. Not much in the way of power outages with that particular storm, but the one that came in from Dallas down toward Houston, that kicked out over 200,000 without power. Look up at Tulsa. They're still dealing with 64,000 without power there in the Tulsa area, and that's now five days after that storm rolled in over the weekend. Things are quiet here in Oklahoma City right now. You can see things look good. But we're tracking our next round of storms up toward north right here. Now moving east of Denver, that storm will start riding east and then turn to south, and that'll roll right down across parts of western and central Oklahoma later today. Right now we're 72. East winds at six miles per hour. Sun is coming up now here at 616. Look at our view on our future cast. It's quiet out the door this morning, but here comes the next round of storms kind of rolling into the state. That'll come on down. We're right into the metro area late afternoon and evening. Now it'll come across with a chance for some severe weather before it moves south gradually weakening here as we go into the evening hours today. It is a great pool day for making plans to do that today. 78 at 9 o'clock, 87 by 1 o'clock. We'll be climbing back in the middle to upper 80s going through the afternoon. Now by 5 o'clock today, we'll increase the chances of a thunderstorm today about 20% with our highest chances going into the evening hours. 60s and 70s around here out the door this morning. And as we go into the afternoon, most spots upper 80s, some low 90s around, kind of more of an easterly to southeasterly wind will take us through the afternoon with more storms developing toward north. Those will ride on down in the state, kind of a complex rolling through, and that'll bring a possibility there for some wind and some hail, quarter size uh, hail, up to 70 mile per hour wind gusts, heavy rain, lightning with these storms as well as they move on in. As you know the phrase, when the thunder roars, go indoors. That will be the story today. If you're on the lake or the area pools, if you've got some thunder around, make sure you're ready to go and take an action as those storms move in. We don't want to have any bad injuries here today. 60s and 70s overnight tonight, back up into the upper 80s, low 90s inch tomorrow. So we're kind of sitting really pretty good. Normal high is about 89. We'll be near 90 inch tomorrow, but we're going to see things heat back up. The heat's going to build as we go from the weekend, come down a little bit Monday, Tuesday, and look at these temps next week. Boy, I'm itching. I really want to put a 100 on there, but we're going to hold it in the upper 90s. The heat's going to be the story as we go into the weekend on into next week as things dry out and heat on up. Hot, hazy, and humid. Those are the words taking us into next week. Out the Door Forecast, sponsored by Triple Play Home Services.